for the past few days I've been trying to put a little bit of order on the barn well started a few weeks ago with uh, cleaning out this area and if you might recall from earlier blog posts and the photos and uh, this is where I was basically storing a lot of building material the wood and stuff so that's all been kind of moved up one level and uh, quickly the space that was made available uh, got full again with stuff uh, so it's a table back there and we have I don't know chairs and things but at the moment I've been trying to kind of sort out this, uh, the old feeding hall built in the 1960s. Um, yeah, basically when we bought the house, we threw a lot of the furniture that was in the house in here. So that, that dresser there was in the cellar and back there, uh, there's another dresser that was in the, uh, the back kuche, so the former kind of baking kitchen. Um, that's our sand blaster. Well, it's not ours, actually. I have to give it back. So we've just got, seems to have quite a collection of tables that my wife has gathered uh, for the past while. It's my father-in-law's uh, old Honda Melody as well. And, um, yeah, I've kind of been sorting stuff out at the back here, just kind of tidying things out a bit. There's an old chest there, which would probably make a really great uh, living room table or something, coffee table. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I just started uh, filming this for, and this was yeah, the old uh, cow stalls here. Um, was this thing here, this was up in the attic area, and uh, I just thought it was some sort of like wall cabinet, although pretty robust. And it was only when I started moving it around again, because I hadn't actually looked at it in about three years or something, uh, I realized how really stable this is. So I don't know, the, the walls of it are probably about one and a half to two inches thick. And uh, certainly 40 millimeters anyway. Uh, the doors are also fairly robust. I'm not sure where the writing is there. And uh, yeah, I thought that's pretty hefty. And it's really heavy. It's really solid. It's a bit uh, heavy to be using as a, a kind of a wall cabinet. And now at the top here, I thought this was just a knot, but actually it's some sort of material as if it's plugged a hole and there's another one over here. And then I spotted down at the back um, these kind of slots. And um, it reminded me of a couple of weeks ago, my son and I went for a walk. And uh, these slots there with a little metal trim above. And we went for a walk uh, up in the woods behind the house and um, found this shed that looked abandoned. And in it were a bunch of old beehives. And this looks exactly like one of those. So actually, maybe it's an old beehive. Um, from when I've no idea but it kind of makes sense I, when I saw these first I thought these were for like, putting a shelf in but then if you look up here there's a, another kind of beading there so this could be for hanging those I don't know what the technical term is but those frames where the uh, honeycombs get built in could be sliding in on these runners and two sets basically so I'm fairly sure that's what it is the slots make sense where the bees come in and out. And then this would be the, the back of the box where the, the beekeeper would plunder for the honey. It's got nice little hinges on it, um, similar to the uh, little window we built inside the house. And uh, I don't know, we've got a bunch of old keys. Maybe I can find the key that fits this, but if that's what it is, yeah. It's kind of nice to have. No idea what I might do with it. Uh, except clean it up a bit, uh, but I can't imagine that we're going to start keeping bees. But yeah, reckon that's what it is? Probably.